Hello everybody, my name is Nasty Mold, and in this video we are going to do all of our daily quests, get information on today's shard event, find the seasonal candles, all that. Um, but first up, we are going to get our seasonal candle bundles. There are eight of these today, we have a double seasonal candle event on right now, which means that when we collect all eight, we should be able to forge a total of two seasonal candles. So we have our first two up in the social space, I collected them right there, and the rest are all below, so let's head down the hill here, and I'll meet you right by the ice ring. Here we're gonna grab the one in the middle, and then I'd like to go around counterclockwise, but you can go whichever way you'd like. We have one in front of this exit here, which brings us to the sliding race. And then we fly around here. We have this one, which is next to the uh, flying race or the citadel entrance right here. We have one on the bridge right in front of it. And then one to the left side of that entrance. We have one more we can find. This one's a little bit tricky. It is underneath the ice here. So let's head down and boom, kind of in the middle area. We have our eighth seasonal candle. And again, collecting all eight of those will give us two total season candles when we forge. Nice. With all that done, let's get started on today's daily quests. To admire the sapling, all we have to do is fly just up here above the Village of Dreams door, and here we have a little sapling. We just have to stand next to this for 60 seconds and our quest will be done. To meditate by Valley's Ice Rink, we just have to head up to this very high ledge, kind of on like the right hand side when you first come down to the ice rink and it should be right here. Of course, you can't see it in my clip because it is not actually a quest day, but this is where the meditation spot will be. The rainbow candles today can be found in the Valley Citadel, which is the leftmost exit once you are at the ice rink. For our next quest, we have to help the mellow musician in the village theater. They need help with something, so we'll find out what. To find the village theater, we're just going to fly over towards the right-hand side of the Valley of Triumph. There we have the entrance. This brings us to the Village of Dreams. And then we're going to slide down the hill, and then we can enter the village theater. If you've done the Aviary Village quest, where you've had to uh, fix up the uh, village theater, the season of performance quest, you can probably get there a little faster by going into the music shop and then leaving that way. But I always forget to do that, to be honest. So here we are, Village of Dreams, we're just going to fly towards the right, and this will bring us into the Village Theater. Once we're here, the musician's pretty much right in front of us. Um, they just need help lifting up this bench. They probably could have asked the stagehand to help, but they didn't. They asked us. Shh, be quiet, they're sleeping. Okay, okay. So we're going to heave together, lift it up, and, uh, well, the stage hand woke up, so. <laughs> Whoopsies. After this brief, uh, animation, we should get our, uh, candle for today. There we go. And we can also turn it into the mellow musician if you'd like to do it this way. I still like to do it at the shrine and get all four at once, but... That's always an option. All right, on to the next quest. Today's daily treasure candles can be found in the Golden Wasteland, and today we have a double treasure candle event, so we should have eight to find instead of the regular four. We of course have our first two in the social space, one kind of right behind where we spawn in, and one in front of us. And the rest are all below, so let's head down this little cloud tunnel. And our next two treasure candles can be found in this first area. One is right in the middle of these crabs. And one is in the exit over here, headed towards the uh, graveyard area of the wasteland. So right here. We have two more in the next area. Um, for these ones, we're going to have to pass that first krill, so I'm just going to skip ahead. And we have one in the first, like, big bone cave. 
right here and the next one is a little tricky because you actually have to go through a lot of krill this one is basically in the very middle of this area but it is in a place where you should be relatively safe right in front of this krill which is now misbehaving going backwards for some reason oh and now forwards okay we have two more treasure cakes to find. We're gonna head over towards the right side of this area and go through that barrier ahead. Be careful of all the krill again. They're all going in random directions. Uh. Now going through this barrier is gonna bring us to the shipwreck area. Once we're in here, there's another krill we have to avoid, but we're gonna head to the very back of the boat. I'm going a somewhat weird route through this thing because I think the krill might see me. But we can see our treasure cake on the very back. Alright, and one more is in the battlefield area. So we're going to fly all the way up here. And go to the final area just before the temple. Now we're just going to fly over the wall. And we can find our very last treasure cake right here. And that is all eight treasure cakes today. A little tricky to find, but honestly, not too hard. Today's shard event will take place in the hidden forest in the elevated clearing area. That is through this barrier here. And I believe you need eight spirits from the forest to enter this area. I do not have a recording of this shard event, but it is a red shard event, so it is quite hard. I believe this one sometimes has the uh, floating red shards as well. And yeah, it's pretty difficult, but we can get ascended candles from this one. And we also have access to one of the spirit memories, so you can get a winged light. I believe it is usually over here at the far end. And the times for this shard event will be listed on the screen now. Bear in mind this is in PDT or PST time, so if you want to convert it, I do have a time zone converter in the description below. And that is all of the daily stuff in the Valley of Triumph for today. Thank you so much as always for watching you guys. I hope you found this helpful, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!